Hi everybody and welcome to this exciting new section, section number two, a to-do application with React. In this section, we will take a look at how to build this new application, the to-do app, using React and Electron.js. So let's start right in with our first video. The first video is going to be just an application overview, where we are going to see all the features that this application that we are building will have, and also we will take a look at why we are building this app. So the features are not that much. This will be a relatively simple application, and I will explain to you why in a moment. So the features for now are adding to-dos, deleting them, or saving them. And the last one is the more advanced of those features. I'm a really strong believer that you guys are visual learners. So I want you to give you a real preview of the application that we are going to build so you get more excited of the result beforehand. So to do that, I'm going to show you right away the application that will come out after we code this. I'm going to go to my terminal. I'm already in the folder where the application lives. So through this command, I'm going to start both the React server and the Electron process. In a moment, we will see the application come out on the screen and we will take a look at all its features. So here we are. This is the application. Everything is loaded up and we can see that we have just a H1 for the title that is to do's basically and two menus. The first one is about creating or clearing or quitting. And the other one is more of a development, a development menu where we have the reload button or we can toggle the developer tools for the Chromium instance. So let's create right away some to do's to do one to do two. And now let's clear them and everything is working. The last feature of this application, and this is the most advanced one, is that this application automatically saves the to-dos. And let me show you what I mean by that. So we're going to create three to-dos. First to-do. Okay, now we have these three to-dos. What happens if I close the app? So now the application closed, so I'm back on my terminal. I'm going to clear the screen to make it more visible. Run the app again. It's going to take a while for the server to back up. And the application is running. And now, automatically, the app has the all to do's that I inserted before quitting. So, what does the app do? Well, before quitting, it saves those to do's in a specific location, a sort of dead database. And we are going to take a look how it does that later and automatically populates this list of to do's. So let's add a fourth one. OK, so this is pretty much it about this application. And you can see that the features are not so advanced. And also you, the user interface is not the most beautiful things that you have ever seen. But let me explain why we are creating this application. So let me go back to my presentation and let's talk about the mission of building this app. Well, the mission here is to integrate React into Electron. And I know that I have been kind of boring about this concept of integrating the React, the framework, in Electron. But I'm really strong on this one. I really believe that creating our front end, the renderer process of an Electron app, with a powerful front-end framework such as the React. But not only React, I'm also super open about Angular or Vue.js. Every powerful front-end framework will really enhance the capabilities of our application. So I strongly recommend you to use React as a front-end to develop your Electron apps. And I have a really good reason for that. I have seen that a lot of people struggle to create a powerful desktop experience for their users once they start building the Electron applications. And I believe that using React will really improve this. To do that, we're going to start nice and slow with this app, the to-do one, 
and we will learn the basics. After that, we are gonna build more real world applications with the framework. Now, let me show you a real world example of an application. I'm here on the documentation page of Electron.js, so electronjs.org, and I'm gonna scroll down in the section where we have all the Electron applications that are built with Electron. And I'm gonna show you a pretty famous one, which I use daily, which is Simple Note. Simple Note is basically a note keeper, or we can think about it even as a to-do app, pretty much. So kind of the same thing that we are building here. And I'm gonna show you that Simple Note is actually built upon React. So let's go to the repository on GitHub of this application, Simple Note Electron. And we can see in the description that a Simple Note React app packaged via Electron for Windows and Linux. So Simple Note is built through React. And if such a famous application uses this framework, it must be a good, good reason. And that's why we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna start nice and slow, and I'm gonna teach you the first basics on how to implement React as a framework into your Electron application. And after that, we are gonna do a lot more advanced things with this framework React and with the framework Electron.